Hello, welcome to Onside English. I'm Ross, and we are going to look at some English phrases used in football to help you communicate and understand English in football better. In this video, we're going to look at the formation of the diamond and the problems that it causes. So, when using the diamond, the attack needs to come from the four backs, so you need to provide width. There can be more spaces found in central areas. The team can be exposed by opposition who play wide. The diamond needs to have a strong defensive player in the base and the midfielders have to use a lot of energy so they can get tired. So we're going to look at Tottenham versus Bayern Munich. Tottenham have started with Deli Ali at the peak of the diamond. So this is the creative role. Harry Winks is at the base of the diamond and will be the most defensive of the diamond. Tangi and Dombele and Musa Sissoko will play the central midfielder roles. So what is the base of the diamond? This is the player who is the most defensive in the diamond. They have to be good defensively and positionally strong. They have to be able to protect the defence. So Winks is at the base of the diamond, collecting the ball. But Bayern are going to double mark him and press him for the whole game. Watch as they press him and stop him from passing forwards. What is double marking and double pressing? This is the action of having two players mark an opposing player. They will follow him and block passes into him to make sure he has little influence on the game. Bayern will do this to Harry Winks. They will double mark him. Bayern apply a double man press on Winks to stop him from moving forward. He has to go backwards instead because he can't go forward. Because Winks is not physically strong or a defensive minded player, Bayern have targeted him. He is their focus. Double marking Winks ensures that he can't receive the ball or if he does, he can be dispossessed quite easily. Because Winks is being double marked, Tottenham cannot get the ball to him. And because he has good passing range, it's harder for Tottenham to start attacks from here. Because they can't get the ball to Winks, they have to play it long. You can see the pass to Winks is not possible or it's too risky. Once again, Winks is being double marked. When playing a diamond, the base of it needs to be able to transition out of these positions but it also needs to be good defensively and positionally. On this occasion, Winks could find a pass out of the centre. The two Bayern attackers are playing central when pressing, which means Winks can't receive the pass. To receive a pass, Winks would need to move into a wider area, which would leave a massive space in the centre for Bayern to exploit. And Tottenham's fullbacks and centre midfielders are high up the pitch as this is important in a diamond when attacking. But it also means Winks can become isolated. Bayern's midfield has pushed high, so Winks is on his own. Playing with wit, this is when a team will use players in wide positions. The diamond requires fullbacks who are dynamic and quick. They need to provide the width for their team. Play with width. This is very important in a diamond. Tottenham's fullbacks need to get forward and keep the width. But Bayern are pushing forward and playing with width as well, which makes it harder to provide width. And this is very important in the diamond. You will see here that Coleman has kept the width which creates a pocket of space inside the diamond. So that top circle is the space for Nabri. 
Nabri can now move into the space, which also takes winks away from the center and creates more space. Nabri has found space behind winks, which will happen a lot as the game goes on. You'll see here that the diamond has been pulled to the left and is a bit too high. Bayern have four attackers in behind the diamond. Because Bayern played with width, they pulled the base of the diamond too far away from the centre. So the diamond is not where it's supposed to be and there are spaces for Bayern to attack. Being exposed easily. What does it mean to be exposed? This is to push too many players high and leave space behind for the attackers to take advantage of. Bayern's fullbacks are more dynamic than Tottenham's, which means they can expose the spaces easier. Because Bayern play with width, they were able to expose Tottenham's diamond. They can find spaces everywhere. Bayern continue to play with width. This time they draw Sissoko to the ball and also Danny Rose on the left. Because Sissoko and Rose were drawn in, they left space and once again the diamond is exposed with Winks having to come across and cover. Because the diamond requires width for attacks, it means that the diamond can be exposed if Tottenham lose possession. If Tottenham lose possession here, then Winks would be exposed. To cover ground, this is the ability to repeatedly run into defensive spaces to prevent dangerous attacks. Midfielders in the diamond need to run all over the pitch. They need to always support the defence and attack. So they will be covering a lot of ground. As a centre midfielder in the diamond, Ndombele is required to support the attack and retreat into defensive positions. He needs to cover a lot of ground and work tirelessly. He also needs to provide width. When playing this role, it is sometimes required for the midfielder to run at the defenders to provide creativity. The central midfielders in the diamond need to have incredible stamina. Now because the diamond is narrow, midfielders need to move from left to right and they also need to move up and down. When the opposition play with width, this can cause tiredness because the diamond has to cover so much ground. One minute later after the attack, and Ndombele needs to get back into a defensive position. But he is finding it hard to get back, and the Bayern attack have lots of space. The central midfielders of the diamond are already covering a lot of ground. This is causing problems because they are leaving Bayern attackers in space and using lots of energy. You can see the Bayern Munich players have a bit more space than the Tottenham players when in possession. Watch how Bayern move the ball to the other side of the pitch again. They are forcing the diamond to cover a lot of ground. The Tottenham midfield is beginning to be outnumbered and the Bayern players are having more space. As the diamond gets more tired, Bayern will be able to expose them more and more. And Ndombele is finding it hard to keep covering ground. You can see he's still at the other side of the pitch. Bayern will move the ball to the other side again. You can see the Tottenham are having problems to stay compact and close to Bayern. They are getting tired because they are covering so much ground. They're running more than Bayern and they're chasing the ball a lot. And the diamond is slow to get across to stop the forward pass again. Bayern are playing with width. So Alaba and Pavard are in wide positions. Because Tottenham are playing a diamond and the midfield is on the left side of the pitch, they need to cover more ground. They need to move from one side to the other continuously. The diamond are moving towards the left side of the pitch. 
Because Bayern are keeping width and moving the ball from one side to the other, the diamond needs to cover more ground. They will become tired quicker. Bayern have moved the ball to the other wing. Because the diamond is narrow, it has had to move across too. Winks should be the base of the diamond, but he is on the right side, covering. They are beginning to cover lots of ground and become tired. Bayern are now moving the ball back to the right. The diamond now needs to cover this ground. Because Bayern are playing with width, they are forcing Tottenham's diamond to cover more ground. And you can see Pavard at the top of the screen. And he has loads of space to attack. After 60 minutes of repeatedly recovering and covering ground, the Tottenham midfielders will get tired. To sit in or drop in. The diamond needs a defensive-minded player who can position themselves in front of the defence and protect them. They need to sit in or drop in. Because Harry Winks is at the base of the diamond, he needs to provide the defensive cover. The problem is that Winks is not a defensive player and he is not athletic. Here, Winks needs to sit in and cover the defence. But he is too far forward. And because Winks is not sitting in front of the defence, Coutinho can find space. The base of the diamond needs to be able to protect the defence. Winks was too far forward and could probably be better positioned. So we've moved him into a better position. The two spaces at each side of the base of the diamond are weak points. So Winks needs to be very good positionally to make sure the Bayern attackers don't find space here. And because the positioning is poor, Bayern can find space across the pitch. It's important each midfielder in the diamond keeps the structure. Now, Winks is sitting in front of the defence. And the diamond has a better structure. But this does not happen as much as it should in this game, which starts to cause a lot of problems. The diamond needs its structure to remain stable. Because Winks is sitting in front of the defence and the structure is better, it is now harder for Bayern to find key passes into the attack. And again, Winks is sitting in a good position he can block the attacker's run. So this is a responsibility of the player who plays in the base of the diamond. But Winks doesn't do this enough through the game. Now Tottenham win the ball in defence and make a counter-attack. Ndombele and Sissoko need to run the length of the pitch from defence to attack. But the counter-attack fails. Because they ran so far up the pitch... Both centre midfielders need to recover. So when playing the diamond, players need to cover so much ground. And this can affect stamina and create tiredness. Because Ndombele is covering so much ground, he is now too tired to recover quickly. Bayern have more space to attack. So the midfielders have only just recovered into defensive positions after the counter-attack. Because Bayern are playing with width, the Tottenham midfielders are having to run a lot. They are now starting to get really tired and Bayern are creating chances and getting more space. Bayern switch play again, causing the diamond to run to the other side. Bayern don't score on this occasion, but the goal is coming. Into the second half and Tottenham have changed to a 4-4-2 because of the space Bayern were getting. But because they are tired, they are finding it hard to stay with runners and block spaces. Because Tottenham are tired, they are slow to react to every move. And this allows Bayern to find spaces quickly. And Bayern are able to score. The Tottenham midfield were very slow in recovering into the defensive positions. And once that happens, tiredness leads to mistakes like this one. 
So Winks takes a heavy touch and loses possession in a dangerous area. This could happen any time, but when the base of the diamond is under pressure and tired, they can make mistakes more often. And Bayern score again. And finally, there are no Tottenham midfielders to be seen anywhere. You can see three Bayern midfielders and two attackers waiting for the ball, waiting for a mistake. Because Tottenham are chasing the game, they no longer have the energy to come for the ball, so they can't provide defensive support as well. And it leads to another mistake. Because Bayern have preserved energy, they are able to run forward in numbers and score. So they are some of the problems when playing a diamond and some of the phrases in English that you can use to describe the tactics or describe the weaknesses to your players or other coaches. So thank you for watching. Press the subscribe button for more videos and I will see you next time. This is a course that has been designed to improve your understanding of football phrases in English, know how to use tactical and strategy phrases in English, describe the play and tactical analysis better with your philosophy, improve communication skills with players as well, also become clearer with instructions and explanations, and finally improve your confidence and communication on the training ground pitch. So take a look at the link in the description below. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.